Hi, welcome again. Uh, today I'll be talking about something uh, interesting. So usually if you're using open line in your landscape, uh, let's say you get an update from us. Uh, usually uh, if you do that, uh, it will break your existing changes. If you place grass like this and also you change the sound, you made some changes to your landscape material, things will get changed. So there is a way that you can keep all those changes and also get updates from us without worrying too much. All right, I'm going to show you today how to do that. So let's get started. First, uh, I assume you use open land because this is uh, made for open land, this tutorial. So so now we have a simple landscape. It's configured with open land and we are using Terrain Magic at the landscape tool. Uh, but it doesn't matter, like uh, you have a, a default open land uh, theme that you are using for your landscape material. All right, good. So now I'm going to show you a way how to configure it for update ready or you can ch make changes for your master material as well all right first thing is i'm going to create a new directory over here right click on your content browser i'm going to create a new folder let's call it my open land you could name this any way any way you like so here i just keep it as my open land and the only requirement is just make sure to keep it outside of your open land directory okay right then now i need another window another content browser over here i would like to keep it over here right then what i would do is i'm going to open this uh, content my open land over here right okay the first thing i'm going to do it I go to my open land directory and there's a grass directory this is the this is the place where you configure all grass so i'm going to drag that directory over to the, this my open land directory and here there's some options i'm gonna click move here it's really important to do move here otherwise things won't work right it will take some time right now we have moved our grass directory over here then if you go go to the open lands grass directory it's uh, usually empty because we move ev moved everything to here cool right okay somehow it, it didn't move the autoless version but that's fine we are not interested in uh, doing that anyway right uh, so uh, we are ready so I can play my game uh, to make sure everything works okay right in this point uh, it's a good idea to save all so yeah we are good to go right now I'm gonna try to do something interesting I'm gonna create a custom version of my master material and put it over here so here's how to do that uh, go to your open end directory and uh, no i think this is the much easier way to do that go to your details panel and select your landscape and this is your uh master uh, your material instance i'm going to double click on that so go scroll to the bottom and there's your master material and simply click this uh, search icon with the folder and it will uh, locate your uh, directory over here now you have selected the master material i'm going to right click and create a duplicate of this one okay and you can give it any name you like i like to give it as m underscore my open land right and then i'm going to drag that to my new directory that we created my open land directory move here yes you have to do move here right and then again i need to go to so they're not ready yet so i'm gonna uh, select my lamp material instance this is the material instance that i use and here we have a, a button called browse okay then it will locate that uh, as well so actually it located on the wrong directory that's fine i'm gonna do a duplicate over here so i'm gonna duplicate my material instance i'm gonna say mi underscore my open land right so since it's open on the wrong material uh, wrong directory content browser i'm gonna go to the the correct content or my open land from this one I'm going to drag this new material so that we created into this one okay again you need to select move here right now open your material instant by double click on that the, the new one scroll to the bottom and there's a parent uh, direct parent uh, material and here and select the m underscore my open land or if you use a different name uh, you can select your master material you just created all right then it will keep all the settings that you have already made and no nothing worries no worries i'm gonna save that all right okay uh right 
now what I do is I'm going to go to my landscape again, go to the details panel and here uh, with the uh, landscape material, I'm going to drag and oh, drag, oh, you can select in any way. I'm going to drag this into my material slot and it will start compiling stuff just fine. Just wait until that. All right. And there are some three uh, shaders need to compile. Okay, cool. I'm going to escape. I think I need to go out of the real time mode. Okay, sometimes it doesn't work. Uh, I think it's a good time to restart your project. I'm um, restart your map. Go to content, and this is my map. I'm gonna double click and restart that, so it will do everything. I started to compile some shaders, and let's wait until that. All right, uh, shaders are still compiling, but we can uh, already see uh, the changes. All right. I can now play my game and it will be slower because like we are compiling some stuff but anyway you can see now we are yeah this is a this is the same project but we move all the materials into a different directory uh, so everything yeah so we these are the changes that we moved created we create a grass we move the grass directory over here and we have our master material over here and this is my uh, material instance based on this master material I can double click and open this master material and now the interesting thing is now you can change anything in this master material uh, again it's a kind of gray area you cannot say something some stuff because it's, it's always possible you, you can create more grass nodes or you can get rid of some of the uh, stuff that you really don't want for example here we have created so many layers by default like alpha layers and yeah sometimes you don't need them. I think most of the time you don't need more stuff. We, we created this in case that you need. So if you need to have some clean interface, uh, simply get rid of all the things that you don't want and make it make it lean. So that's totally possible you had to do. And if you change something inside of these uh, ML ground and so on, then uh, you might have to copy uh, those into this directory as well. I'm going to show you how to do that in a moment. So now this is good. Uh, yeah, now the interesting thing is now you can simply get updates from OpenLand simply uh, using the uh, uh, Epic uh, like tool, Epic, uh, what, what do we call like Epic uh, Marketplace tool? What do you call it? Like, let me search Epic uh, Grams Launcher that you can simply update. And let me show you how to do that. I'm going to do it right now. So, but before we do that, I'm going to save this project. I'm going to close this. The reason is uh, you cannot update while you are working uh, with the project uh, go to your library and let's update open land over right here i'm gonna search open land right okay yeah we have update over here i'm gonna do it it could be a couple of mbs uh, the thing is uh we are making changes like a couple of changes per month every month you will see we a uh, couple of releases so you have to uh, follow a setup like this otherwise you will be in trouble right let's wait uh Right, uh, everything's good. I'm gonna add this to a project, and I know it's UE5 test, I guess. Yeah, uh, hmm, I think this one. Okay, I'm gonna add, add project. Yes. Right, and you can see this project over here. I'm gonna double click and open that. Right, it's loaded, and uh, yeah, okay, I'm gonna say open, and uh, and shaders are compelling because we loaded a new version of OpenLand. Uh, right. And you can see, I can sh uh, show you whether it's loaded a new version or not. Go to content directory. Go to your OpenLand directory. Now we have the grass directory. It contains all those files. But do not edit any of these files because we moved our uh, our new uh, everything in the new master material into the uh, my OpenLand directory. And this is the grass file, the grass content that you need to modify. You cannot do it on the other place because it will break things okay it, it won't work things uh, that's the thing uh, right and this is I think now you're familiar with the setup and we are good to go right and let me show you another thing that let's say you want to change some of the internal con contents of this one for example here we have a material instance for example let's say let's say yeah ml underscore all ground so you need to you need to do some changes on this uh, material function or, or the layer so here's how to do that and when you double click and open that now you can see this now uh, you are modifying this one over here okay you are modifying this uh this version but this is the, uh, the i can browse that 
So basically it's available inside the open line quadratic. You can modify and continue, but the problem is when we are doing a change, uh, when we are doing a version change, and then all these changes uh, will be replaced. So you, you cannot get these, um, get the new updates that we do. Uh, so you, and your changes will be gone. So then uh, how to do that? Uh, again, same process. I'm gonna drag this into a, our new, uh, my open line directory. I'm gonna go to my, uh, the new directory that we created, my open line. I'm gonna say, give it a new directory called functions. Uh, you can, you can, uh, you can place this anywhere you like. You don't need, you don't need to like follow this uh, directory structure. Here, I'm gonna drag this uh, ml underscore ol ground over here. I'm gonna say, move here. So it's very important to move here. It will take some time because like shaders has to be uh, recompiled and do some changes, right? Okay, let's wait. Uh, one more thing I need to change. Yeah, I'll do it later on. Uh, okay, I'm gonna turn out the real time mode because it will uh, run the my CP faster and the fans faster it will be louder it will be difficult for the video right uh, here's what I'm going to do so now if you go to my my open land my open land this this is the material that we created I'm going to select this uh, place select the node now if I select browse I think I need to go into this one, sorry. I'm gonna say browse. Now it will locate the, the new place that we created. Um, yeah, the moved one. Now you can open this and you can do any changes, right? And then uh, if you uh, then if you made a new update from the Epic, uh, yeah, this place, and it's gonna create a new version inside the uh, open line directory, that's fine, but uh, you will, uh, get your you, you will so it won't update this place and you will uh, able to keep the same uh, function so that's the how you can modify this uh, less as well uh, yeah uh, and this is the workflow that you want to use uh, and keep all the changes and and also get uh, you will be able to get updates from us uh, without worrying too much again I'm gonna make sure uh, I'm gonna try to say you like even though I said this is a, the fluid process, things might get complicated. So it's always to keep backups or if you use a version control, that's better. And you need to do something like that because I, it's not 100% guarantee to work all, all the time. There could be failures. So it's definitely a good idea to keep backups or use a, a version control system. All right, uh, that's it for today. I hope this will be useful. Uh, see you soon with something interesting. Bye.